Hi guys, Light here. In today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 14.3 on the iPhone SE. So the first change right here is inside settings. If we go into Safari, search engine, you will see here a new option for Ecosia. And if you're not familiar with Ecosia, Ecosia is just like any other web search engine that you already have available, except at least 80% of their profit goes to communities that help in planting trees. So you're helping a community and helping the environment. With that being said, let's do a sample search using Ecosia in Safari. So let's search for potato. And here we have Ecosia's search engine results page. Now moving on to the next update is inside the music application. So if you open the music app and if you try to check out some of the playlists that you might be already listening to, you might encounter that you already get new animated artwork covers for your playlist. Such as this one in today's chills which we also get that nice full edge to edge header for this playlist. Also there are other animated playlists such as this one in Always Sunday. And the other one would be Global Hits, as you can see that globe moving. And the other one should be Mellow Days, you can see the clouds moving. And the other one would be Beatstrumentals. And the other one known is Bedtime Beats. And surprisingly, this playlist does have a full edge to edge display, unlike on the iPhone 11 when you try to view it, it only has that small artwork display. Also, in the event that you have low battery or poor internet connection, the artwork will not be animated and will not load, such as this one as you can see which we interrupted the internet connection. Also, if you would like to modify the animated artwork setting, you can just do it in settings, music, animated cover art, you can just turn it on, use Wi-Fi only, or just turn it off depending on your preference. Now the next update that we have requires you to have an Apple Watch paired with your iPhone. And if you do have one paired and you are running watchOS 7.2 and above and you are at least 20 years old or older, you will see here a new section for cardio fitness levels on the health app. Which all you need to do is just confirm your details and proceed to the next step which would show you some factors that lower your cardio fitness and some information on how to interpret your cardio fitness level and also you could now finally turn on the notification to receive low cardio fitness notifications on your watch which is useful when you're doing a workout you could finally now receive low cardio fitness level alerts and in line with that amazing feature, we are also expecting to get the new Apple Fitness Plus available on the iPhone SE given that you are in a country that has support for Apple Fitness. And if you are, you can just go ahead and access that feature in the built-in fitness app in our iPhone. Please do keep in mind that this will work with the iPhone SE, it just so happens that my Apple Watch is just paired with my iPhone 11. The next update that we have is for you guys who likes to watch music videos on Apple Music. So when playing a music video, you now get a full edge-to-edge -edge display. And if you change it to landscape mode, you now get the standard video player which is used across apps, similar to the one that we use in Apple TV. So in the TV app, if you play a video, you get that same standard full edge-to-edge -edge display. And if we change it to landscape mode, you can see we have that nice clean video player. Unlike before, we just get this rounded corner view to play the music video. And if we do it on landscape mode, here we have the old controls. Which might actually end up blocking the music video. But speaking of Apple TV, let's go back to the application. And as you can see right here, if we do scroll up, we now get updated tint colors for Apple TV. As you can see previously it was blue but now we get this nice white tint. Now if we go back you can see now we do get a recently searched view for Apple TV. Unlike before it just looks like this. So the redesigned search is somewhat similar to the music application. So moving on to the next update, if we search a keyword on the TV application, we now get a set of filters right here on the top, similar to the ones that we get on the Apple Music application. 
and also we do get a new revamp search landing page on the TV app which is also similar to the one that we get here on the music application. Now the next update that we have is inside settings again if you scroll all the way down to camera settings, record video, and if you scroll down again we will see here a new toggle to show PAL formats. And if you turn that on, all the new options would be appended here on the top, which we could always access using the camera application. So if we go into video, you could easily access now here 25 FPS, which we could always toggle to HD and even switch here to 4K. Now moving on to the next update, for you shortcut fans, we do get back the set wallpaper shortcut so if you search here your wallpaper you can see that we have the set wallpaper shortcut now enabled right here now the next update that we have is now we get support for app clip code scanning so if you're not familiar with app clips app clips is a nice way for us to discover new apps whether we're browsing the web receiving messages navigating or even interacting with NFC tags and even scanning QR codes. So previously on iOS 14.2, if you do try to scan an app clip code, it does not interact with it. But now on iOS 14.3, if you do try to scan an app clip code, it should now be able to scan and interact with the code and even give you a preview of an application if there is one available. So if you want to try it out for yourself, here is a sample of an app clip code for you to try out. Now moving on to the next update, in areas such as in the US, UK, Germany, India, and Mexico comes air quality information from Bizometer. So if we open here the weather app, as you can see in Makati City, we have no air quality information. Same goes here for Melbourne. If we scroll down, there is no air quality information. Same goes for Singapore. Dubai and even in Taipei so if we do add a supported location such as the one in the UK so if we add here London let's add that and open it up if you scroll all the way down we will see here the air quality information for air pollution now let's try to add another location in the US which will go with Cupertino and let's add that and that should give us here the air quality information from Rizometer. Now moving on to the next update for you guys who have Apple Arcade you finally now get new filters for Apple Arcade so if you tap here on the top we do get new filters for controller support multiplayer and age ratings so here is a sample if we do apply several filters. Also, if you try to check out some of the apps that you already own in the App Store and if you scroll all the way down, you should see a new section for app privacy, which you can see here the summary of the data that is linked to you and data that is not linked to you. Lastly, running a performance test on the iPhone SE first using Geekbench, we do get a score of 1335 for single core and 3040 for multi core. Which, comparing that from the result of iOS 14.2, we got the score of 1326 for single core and 2606 for multi core. But if we do try to compare the average performance of the iPhone SE in single core, you can see that our current version is slightly higher than the average iPhone SE, which the average score was 1021 for single core. Now, if we do try to compare the multi core performance for the average iPhone SE, we are slightly higher than the average one, which was just 2,742, now we get the score of 3,040 for multi-core performance. Now running another performance test using Antutu Benchmark, we do get a score of 486,930 for the iPhone SE. We're comparing that to iOS 14.2, we got the score of 314,903 for the iPhone SE.
So that is it guys, that is iOS 14.3 on the iPhone SE. And if you have any further questions or spotted other changes, please let us know in the comment box below. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.